Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive form with Power Query. Now, this is also could be known as creating a parameter query, where you're passing some user-defined parameters into a query. So, in this example, I just have an example where I'm looking at the top movies, and this is actually taken from a website. This is taken from uh, this website, thenumbers.com. And you can see the, the top selling DVDs here is, the top one is the Magnificent Seven in the year 2017. So we have this pretty simple URL telling us the year. Now if we change that to 2010, and I'll press enter, it changes from the Magnificent Seven and Avatar is the top selling DVD in 2010. Well, let's go back into Excel and we see 2017 here. If I change that to 2010 and then I'm going to uh, let me get out of that. I'm going to refresh this query under data, refresh all. You're going to see now the table. It's going through the query down here and it's going to change this table and the avatar is going to come back. So this is something that could be done in Power Query. Now we see that the avatar has come back and that's the top selling DVD. Uh, the second selling DVD is Toy Story. If we go back to the website, uh, Toy Story is the second selling DVD here. So it's actually going to the website and pulling this information in uh, based on the parameter that you entered. So this could be like a user form when you think about it, turning Excel into like a user form. Now for simple queries, this is actually pretty easy uh, to do. Let me show you how this could be done. So here I am back in Excel in a new workbook. And what I need to do is I need to create a two queries. I'm going to create a function query and then I'm just going to create a query from uh, the table where we're going to pass the parameters. So the function query is going to be done looking for that URL. I'm going to go back into the site here and I'm just going to take this URL, control C to copy and go into Excel and go to uh, data. Incidentally this is Excel 2016, so it's already got Power Query built into it. If you have previous versions of Excel 2010 or 2013, Power Query is an add-on that you need to, need to get from the Microsoft.com site, and you need to download that and enable it. But this is 2016. It's under the Data uh, tab under Get and Transform. I'm going to go to New Query, and from other sources from the web. So a pop-up window is going to come up asking for the URL for that query. Once that is there, I can do control V, paste it in there, click OK, and it's going to pull in the page or the contents from that page. I'm going to have to do a little bit of cleanup, not too much because it seems like a pretty simple page, but it comes up with this navigator window and there is a table on there. So I'm going to select, we, we can see if we select on document, it's, it's trying to find things that are there that it can bring down for you to edit. but Fortunately, that content that I wanted is in a table format, so I'm going to click on that table zero. You can see that you get a preview of it. Sometimes tables aren't that clean, so I'm going to go and edit this. Click edit, and it's going to bring back the Excel, and I'm going to be in the query editor. Now let me edit it. There's a column that I don't need. I don't need, I don't need this by column, so I'm going to right click and select remove. So the format's okay for now, but now I'm going to turn this particular query into a function query. So I'm going to go under Advanced Editor. The Advanced Editor tab is going to come up, or a window is going to come up, and I want to change this. I, don't, I want to wrap this into a function. So I'm going to type in let. Oops, let. Let me give it a little a couple carriage returns. Let uh, top movies. This function is going to be called top movies equal and I want to pass the parameter so the parameter I'm going to pass is year right and then type equal uh, less than sign oops equal less than sign here I want to close the function so I'll type in top movies right it's going to be the same as that now I want to pass this year parameter and you see the year here and so we need to remove this keep the uh, quotes Oops, still have that number two there. Now after the quote, I'm going to append something, right? So I'm going to do ampersand. And the year, that's a number, so I want to, and this is a bunch of text, right? So that number, we need to convert that number into text. So it's going to be the number. 
Incidentally, this is M code. This is the code that Power Query uses to do its stuff. So we have number to text, and then we'll wrap year around there. All right? So what it's going to do is when we have our table where we're entering numbers, it's going to convert that number to text as part of this string because this is a this is a text string. Click done. And you can see that it's changed it a little bit. Now we're going to close and load and it doesn't look like anything's happened because basically what it's done, it's created a function query. Now what I need to do and I didn't name it. I just, I just kept the table zero, but that's okay. Now what I need to do now is create my table and turn that into a query. So I'm going to type enter year, and then let's just put in uh, this year right now, 2017. Let me double click this to auto fit, and now this is going to be a table. Now I can turn this turn this into a table, or I can just go uh, create do the uh, data get and transform the data for create a new query from the table and it's going to turn this into a table already. Click on from table it's going to ask uh, does my table have headers? Yes, this is the first row here is headers. Click OK and now it's going to bring up the query editor. Now this is a very simple table of course it's only got uh, one column and two rows uh, the header column and then the data. What I need to do is add that function in now. So I'm going to go and add a column. So add a column and I'm going to invoke that function. Click on that. It's going to ask me which function do I want. Click on the drop down here, and that's that table uh, zero function. I should have named it get function get top movies. That probably been a little bit more descriptive. Now, in the function query, it's only asking for the year. So I have this enter year here. Click OK. Uh, the drop down doesn't show anything else here because that's only one thing that that function is asking for is year click OK and now it's going to ask for some data privacy it's going to give you some warnings and, and you can just click continue and use the public option right we can just select public here these are just the privacy levels that the Excel uh, brings up I'm going to click save and now it's going to enter another table or enter another column and it has it's going to have a hyperlink uh, table text where I can click and that table will supersede this particular table that I had there. So let's wait till it goes out and looks for it. Now we have that second column with my table text. I'll click on that, and it's going to bring that table over from that web page now. Right, so now we have the content here. What I need to do now is just put this back into the worksheet. Go to Home, click Close and Load, and click and Close and Load to. I'm going to load it to, I'm going to put it down here in uh, cell A8. So I'm going to select table, existing worksheet, I'll just type A8 and click load. And you can see now it's going to populate this particular worksheet. So as we see here, uh, the Magnificent 7 was the most popular DVD. If I click on, let me double click here to auto fit this. If I select maybe 2013, press enter and then go to data refresh all we'll see that the next one will change let me go to 2013 in the web page here if I go to 2013 we'll see that the most popular one was Twilight and then the second most popular was Despicable Me let me go back to Excel see if it's done that where Twilight and then Despicable Me so this is a way that we can create some interactivity in Excel but you might have to do a little bit of editing of the M code, which is the language that Microsoft Power Query uses. But you don't have to write in the VBA. It's not very really too complex. And it's actually pretty interactive. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.